Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing another debate, um, immortality versus mortality. Ellie and I, we're going to be on the mortality side and we've got Grace and Ellie on the immortality side. So guys, make sure you comment what side you're in. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification symbol and I hope you enjoy the debate. Right, so my first point for why immortality is good is that you never have to die which is probably everyone what everything what everyone kind of wants because no one wants to die you want to and that leads to my second point you get to live through history's most memorable events so you never know if i was immortal i can live through like the next big event that could happen in the UK or anywhere and you can travel everywhere you can you might even experience like like World War Three if that happens not but or you could experience <laughs> why would like, you want to experience that <laughs> like, <laughs> so many, no but there's so many good things that or great things that could happen in the future like we probably won't experience like like a metro city or something like you know me Meet the Robinsons, we see like that city and we get to see there's so many good things cool. that can happen. Exactly, we get to experience that. Um, and um, what else? Yeah, third point, you could do anything you wish. You like, you could travel the world, you can literally go into a pool of sharks and you don't, you can't die because you're immortal. So there it goes, you can. And yeah, like, and a fourth point, you can, Nothing can kill you. Like if you jump off a cliff or you get hit by a car, you won't die. You just live on. And even if you become a crim criminal and you're running from the law, it's fine because they they will eventually die and you can live on and just change your life. Sorry, so we're only considering if you were immortal, not that everybody in the world was immortal. Oh, I didn't realize that. Well, I, I, I'm just asking, like, well, what are you considering? Are you I thought if considering you were that just you were just. And... Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, but if we are going to that point, I think, yeah, like I said, you won't have to die. You just mm -hmm. live on and you can just redo your life if you want. Because there's, there's always a second chance for you. And, um, oh. And okay, so. Like... Oh, okay. You want to carry on with you? I was going to do a um a last point, just a like a little one, but um okay, go on. So I thought I thought if you were just immortal and everybody else wasn't, that's what I first first thought. Depending on how you start in your life, you could convince people that you were God, and then you could get treated well. That's <laughs> <bad. you're> <laughs> that is I can see an evil grace on a throne. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that no one needs that evil grace yeah i could write the next 10 commandments and just say you don't do this <laughs> <sighs> okay so if we're gonna go from the point where you're the only one immortal and everybody else is mortal but then you would see everybody else die your family your friends you would literally be Okay, okay at some point okay okay but say like you're the type of person who is kind of a loner or is not really into a serious relationship you could just go from one fling to another and it wouldn't really matter so are you seeing this as like a dating experience <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying like, right, yeah. next one <laughs> yeah there's also yeah. um like with immortality kind of comes like the thing of like vampires and stuff so mm -hmm. technically could you bring your loved ones with you like if you're immortal can you extend that immortality to other people there's a lot of wishy-washy rules and stuff so you could always bring your yeah. loved ones with you yeah it depends on what what kind of immortality we're talking about like what ellie said but because yeah, i thought it was the whole population, not just yeah. one person. That's I thought I it was thinking. just like one, I it just was one person and oh. everybody else wasn't. I was thinking like just everyone. 
So, yeah. but say if there I mean, was no other way. Yeah, say if there was no other way for everybody else to become immortal, and it was just yeah. you. You would literally be living in a cycle where you would see people die. You would see people suffering, and you'd be like, "That's it. They're gonna die at ninety years old. That's it. I'm gonna be trying to having to find new people." And you know, you're gonna have to be constantly on the move because someone's gonna remember you, right? Because their yeah, daughters after they die, and they won't have to remember you. So. They'll die, so, but they might have they might have kids. They might have someone else, and they'll see that you're still looking young and whatnot. Like there's a lot of places to travel to, though. You know, so <laughs> yeah. Spend one life in the UK. I think, you, I think if you're immortal, you can day. travel everywhere. No, in the next life. Yeah, you, know, you can travel to the moon, and space won't kill you because mm-hmm. you won't die. Or by the time you're still alive, for all we know, we could have life on Mars and. Jupiter and Saturn so they could even travel planets you know but don't you don't think, think eventually you'll get bored you'll have like experienced everything there is to have like experience and no, nothing will seem exciting no but you that's the thing in the forget. next few years there'll be something new they're always going to be something new like but think after about a bit it. it's not going to matter oh, I don't will, think you'll get to watch humanity grow and develop no one who don't like the news, but you. I don't know. I I think I think the reason why everybody. I mean, I I shouldn't say everybody, but I think the reason why <laughs> there is the value of life is because we know that it's not infinite. There is going to be an end. There's going to be suffering, and it's the time for us to actually really get to grips and really find out what really matters like the loss of loved ones, bad things happening, like they matter. They they shape us and they change us. And okay, but- if if we if we're the only ones that are immortal, then it, it life would have no meaning. Yeah, but when you're immortal, you won't have the suffering, you won't have the end. And as much as you said it would be sad and lonely like to be immortal because someone will be like you. But um but I just remember there's this film called like um, the guard where like a group of immortals they um they fought they they fought through wars and all that. Just think about it. if you're immortal and there's like again probably won't but where war World War Three happened you can fight through that you won't die but you would continually fight for the right and if there's another war you can fight I mean. You might be alone, but at least you will live and you could do something right for others. What's the and point? You After a bit, a- you'll be like, why? Like, humanity, like, they, they just keep getting into the same problems over and over again. I have to carry on helping them fighting these wars and whatnot. They just, it's just going to be a continuous cycle. Yeah, but again, they will develop. Different things will happen. It might not just be a war, it could be something else. It could be like a natural disaster and you just dive in to save people. Even though you won't die, you would give you would help someone to save their lives so they can live on. But they would end. They would die. But you know that you've helped them live the life that's meaningful to them. Just because they can't be immortal <laughs> doesn't mean their life wasn't important. want to go for something now now it's the time I mean, for a bit of test magic you know I mean I was gonna say well if you say life life literally means birth and death and that's not immortality you know like you're not experiencing life because life has some sort of meaning but when you're immortal you'll just keep continuing like it's quite repetitive it's not like what exactly is your purpose if you keep like you know you, you know that there's no end basically there's literally like like it's just a tunnel like you don't know what the end is basically yeah no that's fair mm-hmm. and to be honest I thought this immortality versus mortality thing was like a population like sort of thing so okay. when I thought um mortality I was thinking the first thing that I thought was overpopulation like like it's gonna start expanding and expanding or it's gonna be like scarcity of food um deforestation more resources needed 
more housing, like, you know, you're just not going to find any space. Climate change, you know, watch out climate change debate, guys, you know, click on, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, more waste, you know, you've got to think about the environmental impact as well. So okay, more pollution, but... you know, this, the list keeps going on. Okay, on. okay. But mm -hmm. what about, like you said, life on Mars, they can, like, maybe half the population can move to Mars and just live up there. So we, we could do the same. So we can make Mars bad as well. So we can turn Mars <laughs> into Earth. <laughs> Mars bad. Because humans, we aren't going to change. I don't think we are ever going to change. I think we will carry on making the same mistakes. And we'll do the same on Mars as well. So then where do we go after Mars? Um, <laughs> we'll just Mars. another <laughs> universe. <laughs> we'll just keep <laughs> doing it. What's after Mars? Jupiter? I I don't we know. Look the next again and again. We're in those well, as well. We'll go more closer to the sun <laughs> and, you know. Sorry, wrong, wrong side here. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Like, you know, you need more resources. You're going to yeah. have less land. You're probably going to cut down okay, the okay. Amazon. Okay, but um, say like uh, if everybody was immortal and... um. Because we get like a lot of bad people, like prisoners, murderers like terrorists and all that okay say like what if we did decrease the population by doing all the <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> just to that's me, just another saying. debate that's an ethics debate which please don't send me back <laughs> there. enough of that <laughs> please don't send me back there <laughs> i'm just saying how would you decrease the population? <laughs> you get rid of the, the bad population. People. But but it would still keep growing. The, the bad people only make a certain amount of like it's just a no, no, to be no, like no, less than 10%. Everybody is immortal. Just but how what? do you kill someone immortal? What do you do? Chop them off of a cliff or something? No, 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 no. This, okay, I thought two things. One, you even just like tie them up and drown them to the ocean. That way they can't really escape. And <laughs> what is this Shut debate? Up. <laughs> Shut up. I feel like we've turned the debate into is culture exactly. okay? It's, it's something else, yeah. I, I'm guys, <laughs> like, evil grace is here. Like <laughs> sure, torture. Sure no, these are okay, Very these are immortal dead. killers. Immortal killers. Doesn't want to share her godlike abilities with everybody else. <laughs> oh <Sorry>. god. <laughs> okay, but hold on. How will it work? Work like if everybody was immortal. Say like um, if you have a baby, they grow up to be what nineteen, and then they start aging. Or is that? I don't know. They'd just be immortal. I, I don't know the specifics of it. But there's no way you can also... kill someone immortal. <laughs> like no, you won't kill them. You just chuck them away. Chuck all the. Bad people, wait, chop the mud into the ocean <laughs> and then the ocean, like, you suffer with it. Fine, fine. Oh, here's a better solution. Here's a better solution. You throw them in space. <laughs> but okay. You know, let them float. What, what did you say? Throw them in space. For Grace, say if you were the bad person and someone throws you into space, what is the meaning then? You're just literally going to be floating in space and do what? Oh, that's, that's my punishment. If I killed, like, <laughs> if I killed, like, orphan children for, for like, pleasure or anything, I'm a, I'm a psychopath. <laughs> you can't keep me locked up because I would, might just escape. So what do you do? You give me, probably, you can't give me a death sentence. <laughs> You have all to the examples out of all the examples. Yes, <laughs> what is wrong? What is going on? This debate oh, should be this so, funny. So no, that's asking the question. Yeah, I just said, What if you're a bad person? Not killing. <laughs> oh, not killing. Oh, you can't you kill orphan children because they're immortal, too. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't try to do it. <laughs> oh, my brain hurts. This is this is. This is what you meant by it's going to be water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Guys, watch that video. <laughs> Don't watch that video. That video gives me a migraine just thinking about it. Okay, I will as a plot hole. Oh, but should we go to your points or if you've got any more? Tess, Emily? Uh, yeah, I think it's just about appreciating life, you know? 
I think that's what mortality comes down to. Like, sure, we'll have our problems and stuff. And some people have more problems than others. And, you know, it would look really bad for them. But hopefully at some point in their life, they'll have something good. And that's what makes us appreciate life and the value of it. And then the pain at losing someone, you know, it, it it's horrible. But, you know, we that that it just happens and it has to happen one question if you are immortal do you feel physical pain i think so so like if i got shot Mm -hmm. i feel the bullet yeah but i won't die i'll just still feel it i can take it out and i'll probably just heal naturally Okay, so what if you had like I don't know like a spine problem and made you like paralyzed for the rest of your life? Well, not life, but like for the rest of your well, you call it. Hopefully, if I was immortal, I would ask someone to put me to sleep and wait to the future till they find a cure for curing paralyzed people. So that's why we do. That's a lot of ifs. If this yeah, happens, if that happens. What, yeah. If it doesn't happen. What if it doesn't happen? <laughs> well, I would be in the deep sleep. I would just dream and wait. Because I'm immortal. I'm happy to wait. How long will you wait, though? Well, century? <laughs> That's not century just sounds like... <laughs> but for us, it's like... Yeah, it, 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 would death. Be <laughs> it would be fast. Because if you're immortal, it'll be fast. Okay, so what if someone was in like physical pain for like a long, long time? Well, we can't say life because it's not life. And they were like, euthanasia is best for them because they literally can't. Well, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Like they, they think they can't live any further because they're in physical pain. Like they're constantly living it every single day. And they just want to get yeah. rid of that pain by yeah. dying. That's torture. Well, this way you can put people to sleep, right? Like you can't kill them, so you could just put them to sleep, so they probably won't feel pain. They just be like, isn't it? Even like- even people in comas sometimes they still feel stuff. So mm-hmm. even then, it it's not. Well, I'm, I'm not a medical student, so I don't know how it works. But <laughs> I mean, I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that that's, that's an well. interesting point, Tess. Mm, okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like, is that one, do we consider physical pain or not? And if so, then that's one of my questions. You okay, know? I've got a question. Emily, you probably won't remember this, but I would just remember something. From- <laughs> <It's> <laughs> just <like freezing>. no. <laughs> no, um, I remember, say like if I was a mortal and I got um, cut in half, well, one would there be two of me, or would <laughs> I go and the other half just die? <laughs> I'm just curious because, or would I just get stick together again? I'm not sure because I remember hey. the show. I don't know. It because because we've got nothing to base it on. I can't say. I can only say what I think, which is I think that you would just join back as one whole person. So you're trying to clone yourself. I, can, yeah. I can see like the, the skin like reaching and like, okay. like cheese string. Thank you. <laughs> I'm never eating a cheese string again. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't put any off anyone off cheese string. I I am one of those people. I have them put off cheese strings. How did we get here? This is worse. No, it's not. Nothing's worse than that other debate. I didn't even <laughs> want to talk about that other debate. But this this one's hurting my head as well. I don't like this. If you had to choose which one is worse, this one or the water one? The water one. Nothing, <laughs> nothing is worse than Can that one. Make this, sure one's we... this one's close. <laughs> I think they've heard it enough times. <laughs> I'll get rid of it. <laughs> okay right back to this debate okay i have one more question oh okay <laughs> you bring up cheese string again 
yeah so basically <laughs> what if you're a bad person right for doing something bad and yeah. you get a life sentence what is the purpose of your life then it's going to be so boring you're going to be spending most of your life in prison not most your whole entirety in prison like that is so boring well like you said life is precious so what I would do like if I was that person I would try to find a way out escape and just well, feel, there's a know, higher security system you just can't get gotta out. chain grace up don't commit <laughs> crime simple <laughs> as let's just oh. know crime Okay, yeah. what is this? Okay, what crime did I commit? Like, if did I commit a robbery or uh, something that? that's terrible that made you get a life sentence, basically? Oh. Like, something really, really terrible. I mean, you I'm can't scared. kill her because Grace is planning like her escape plan like, and mm, everything. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it again <laughs> and again <laughs> and again. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I mean. If you still get, wait, hold on. How can I get a life sentence for kill? If I kill someone, yeah, that's what I said. You can't. If these people can't can't be killed, Emily pointed that out earlier. Yeah, I said you can't. I'm saying that something very terrible that makes you get that. Like what? Like what? What did mortal do? Oh, I don't even know. What's something so terrible? You can still do a lot of bad stuff, even if you're a mortal. Sure, maybe the ultimate bad is killing, murder. But stealing? Um, well, you can get a life sentence for stealing. Well, it depends. It depends on oh. what you're stealing. If you're stealing something very classified, maybe. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking, if I was a criminal, oh, and, no. <laughs> criminal <laughs> and I can't die, or I always imagine trying to steal the crown, the crown jewels for the first time, just to make history. Honestly, like, there would be no such that thing that as one. history. It'd just be like it. Like, it's just his, no thing as history. History would lose know. its importance because it would. There would be no point, would it? Mm. There would be it no would point. Be it, like, hmm. No, but it would be like, just like be alive for it. Mm. But then the new generation, there's still point for history, you know. No, you it's, can make history growing out of up. Earth. You can like travel to Mars or go around the sun. People could even visit the sun since they can't die from it. Imagine being so close to the sun. See, seeing Yeah, it. but you still feel physical pain, do we not? Did we not yeah. Yeah. say that? I don't want to go near the sun. <laughs> no, but you can see it closely. Imagine that. Yes, Grace really wants okay. to be immortal. I'm getting that yeah. feeling, and she yeah, it's what like evil really, really not really like really nice one that was immortal, so she could be the god of earth and rule. Oh. Evil goddess, don't forget evil goddess. My bad, evil. goddess. I would be evil. Why would I be? Why do you assume I'm gonna do something evil? Because of everything you said, killing orphan children, <laughs> no, it's exactly no. torture, no. torturing. Oh. Even though they did wrong, torturing people in... No, like, I didn't say torturing people. I you were going to chop them and chain them at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and just throw them in space. Criminals! What did you say, Tess? Floating in space, you're just going to throw them in there. Just chuck them out. No, I can, I can tell people... Like, I'm... A, I mean, just like if I can persuade them that I'm godlike, I could just tell them, don't do any wrong, don't be racist, don't be sexist, don't be cruel to people, don't steal, don't kill. And, and if I they mean, don't I obey, can... and then what? If they don't listen, then what? I say, I say, you still got your free free will, but I'm just telling you, this is what I command you to do. Mm-hmm. You can... And why would they? Why should they listen like... to you? I don't care. No death. And then you'll be like, well, if you don't listen to me in the afterlife, then you're going to hell. Punished for the rest of your afterlife. Yeah. The only, like makes- said, if you carefully choose good words, you can persuade them. You could just shoot yourself and just say, I'm still alive. They'll be scared. And they say, Oh my god, she's a goddess. And you and they will just fall to you. Fall on their yeah, knees but and not just... everybody's gonna fall straight into your trap, Grace. Right? 
But I will be with the resistance. <laughs> but they couldn't. They can't get rid of me because I'm immortal. They, they'll chain you up to the bottom of your bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can have the escape and hold them for life. Because what can I say? How are you escaping? They're properly chaining you, like putting tons of stuff on top of you. You can't move. You're like literally <laughs> thinking of how they're gonna chain me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure they'll sure the resistance will come up with no, some sort I of plan. You know? I, mean, I can have followers. Those followers aren't mo- are mortal though. They can't go all the way straight to the bottom of the ocean and stay there for like three, like I don't know how long. They have to try and dig you up and everything. It's gonna take forever. They'll be dead. You'll have like tons of dead bodies around you then. Do you want that? No, but just but, think about what? it. Just think about it. If they think you're immortal, they're probably thinking you're godlike. They wouldn't dare to come near you. Not everyone. Yeah, not everyone. There will be people who will be against you. No, but they would definitely fear you. I mean, not in a creepy way, but they would kind of be afraid of you because they have no idea what else you're capable of. But they probably would have like stalked you and like studied you and you know, you know, they would have they would have a good idea. They would they wouldn't just go head first into like chaining you into the bottom of the ocean. They will have a clear plan. You'd become a lab rat. Mm, see? Do you still want to be immortal, Grace? I didn't say I want to be immortal. I'm just saying why <laughs> immortality is quite good. I mean, I don't oh, this was such points. a weird debate. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it wasn't even fully related. <laughs> Sometimes it just went off, yeah, quite it, off track. I rolled. Yeah. yeah, I think we learned a lot about Grace though. <laughs> if Grace was to do anything, become a goddess, you know, mm-hmm. um, kill orphan children. I think you need to see my points, and you instantly think that this is what I want to do. It's the fact you just came up with all kill orphan children, like just like that. That's so specific. <laughs> that was an example. You could have just said kidding or... <laughs> it was the like... orphan children. It was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, it was orphan girls, wasn't family. it? It was girls. Family or I could say a couple. But you just... But if I say an example, you're just going to say, this is what Grace one thinks all the time. Oh. Guys, let us know down below. Is Grace evil or not? Is that a debate? That's, that's another debate. Right, check our next debate. <laughs> Oh god. Guys, I'm getting bullied here. Help me. <laughs> Wouldn't have to worry about that if you're a mortal. <laughs> yeah, because you guys would die and I live on and I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> We're such a problem. <laughs> we are. That's fair. That's fair. Hey, don't write me up with them. I didn't <laughs> laugh at you. You'd miss us, Grace. You'd miss us. No, 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 Ellie. I would miss Emotional. you. And Tex. And well, and yeah. Tess, Tess mentioned. <laughs> 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 okay, Emily, don't worry. <laughs> I think we'll end it here. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. yeah.